Today I am filming a New Year's Eve get ready with me. Um, I'm not actually going anywhere for New Year's because I'm kind of sick. So I just wanted to film it. I really love doing my makeup and I just want to talk about my New Year's resolutions and my goals for 2019. I already like moisturized my skin and I'm not going to prime it just because um, I'm going to take it off when I'm done. So I'm not going to like waste any primer. But I am going to pull back my hair a little bit just so I don't get any makeup in it. Um, for foundation, I'm going to use this Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation. I've never used it before. Um, I don't know if it's my shade, but it'll be okay. Guys, I don't use a beauty blender. I use like a little sponge and I just get like a huge pack of them from the store. And the reason that I don't use a beauty blender is because, like I said, I have really sensitive skin and I like to, when I'm done with my sponge, I like to just throw it away and get a new one the next day. I don't like to reuse stuff on my skin. So I'm going to apply this. So yeah, it's kind of like low-key, like a lot of foundation, but <laughs> I don't care. looks so yellow on camera wow I look so weird okay let's just move. like I swear like okay on the camera it looks like super yellow and like I look kind of crazy but like in person I swear it does not look that bad blended pretty well that's kind of scary how yellow it is on camera wow like guys I swear it like literally doesn't look like that in person it looks like my skin tone that, um i'm gonna use sharp sharp tape tape sh blah, 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 tarts shape tape concealer and it's in the shade like neutral <laughs> I just wanted to talk real quick about my New Year's resolutions this year because I feel like every year I always have like the same resolutions which is you know like get fit do this whatever <coughs> but this year my resolutions are like kind of similar but like kind of not so like my first New Year's resolution is to become more confident in myself meaning like so I really have been wanting to start a YouTube channel for like a really long time and I actually posted a video when I was in seventh grade and it was terrible like it truly truly was and I remember just like getting into high school and all my friends like found the video and they were laughing at me like you literally can't even see it on my channel anymore because I took it off because like I was so embarrassed about it so and one thing that I really want to do is just become more confident in myself and like, you know, if I want to do something, just do it. And, you know, this is something that makes me happy. This is something that I want to do. And that goes with anything in life. Like if you guys ever want to do something and you're scared to, but it's something that's like really, that you're really, really passionate about or something that you truly, truly care about, then, you know, go for it. Like, you know nobody's promised tomorrow nobody's guaranteed tomorrow so why not just make the best out of every day that you have so my next new year's resolution is to be more healthy and this honestly goes along with being more confident so for me being healthy isn't just physically healthy it's like internally spiritually mentally like everything younger i was on the chubbier side which i'll insert pictures <laughs> self-confidence and I really just needed to make a change and my dad is actually a bodybuilder fun fact and so he really took me under his wing and he really helped me to lose weight and to just like create a mindset like create a healthy lifestyle because in my opinion you can literally look so good but if you do not have a healthy mindset and you do not have like a healthy relationship with yourself you're not healthy 
and I feel like a lot of people take health and fitness in the wrong direction and I feel like they just think that it's about counting calories and you know what you're eating and you know working out non-stop or doing like hours of cardio because to me that's not what being healthy is about to me being healthy is being able to take something that's happened to you in your life good or bad and being able to learn from it and to really grow from it and to just you know take it and continue on with life and that's what having a healthy mindset is all about and being able to like see the goodness in all of the bad things like I I've been through a lot of stuff this year and I feel like I could have taken it in two different directions. I could have taken it and I could have, you know, felt bad for myself and like slacked off with like my everyday life and I feel like I could have just not like cared about my friends as much and I feel like I could have just went in a completely different direction and not cared about myself and like just took the easy way out. But instead what I did this year is I took everything bad that's happened to me looked at the lesson that I got from it and continued on with my life having a positive attitude and just continuing to do what makes me happy and do what you know I want to do because at the end of the day like it is your life and you know you can you can you choose you choose your life at the end of the day is what I truly truly believe like I, cho I believe that you can choose to have like a better attitude and I'm not saying that all of this will happen overnight because it definitely didn't for me like having a good mindset is something that's definitely like something that has to develop and something that you're gonna have to learn and train your mind to do um I know for me I know this is so ratchet but this is what I use to contour my face sorry that was <laughs> just a side note but um I know for me personally like it didn't happen over the night for me it took over three years to truly truly learn who I am and who I want to be and it took a lot of like hard days and hard times to really like learn what I wanted to do and that is one reason that I am so passionate about health and fitness um fitness because for me, I've been working out for like the past three years on and off. I mean, you know, I don't go every day. I'm in high school. I have friends. I, I like doing stuff. But for me, I love going to the gym and I love with lifting weights, which is another New Year's resolution that I have is to get better in the gym. But we'll talk about that in a second. But for me personally, when I think about the gym, I think of it as a place that I can go and like not focus on anything else in the world but myself right then growing as a person and you know physically like feeling better and I feel like when you're physically stronger you know it helps I feel like when you overcome stuff in the gym whether it's like getting to a new weight level or you know running another mile like extra or doing something that you couldn't do in the gym the day before I just feel like stuff like that really really helps and you know allows you to I feel like going to the gym physically allows your mental state to grow as well so I think that's really cool I really love to work out if you didn't know I've lost a lot of weight um over the past three years I really like my body has just I see a workout routine or what I did to lose weight let me know because I will be more than happy to film that 2018 has been a roller coaster 2018 has been one of the best and also worst years of my life um so i'm ready for 2019 i'm ready for the new challenges and the new outcomes i've literally been sitting here bronzing my face for the past like hour i need to chill i just i love being tan and i, I really miss summer um but you know Back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, I just feel like the more ugh, my hair keeps falling. As like back onto the fitness part, I know that it can be awkward going into the gym. You know, especially when you're first starting out. I know it can be super awkward. Believe me. But all I'm gonna say is that I've never regretted working out. I've never regretted a workout that I've had. I've never you know, not enjoyed going to the gym, and I know the gym's not everybody's 
cup of tea so there are like other things that you could do as far as getting healthy this year and my number one tip for you know starting a good lifestyle and starting a healthy lifestyle this is what i personally do i have three instagram accounts okay and i know this is gonna sound super crazy but this is something that i personally do and have done for the past three years of my life four years something like that probably more than three and i have three instagram accounts my first one is my main one which link below please follow it and i also have a spam account fun fact that just has like my really really close friends on it and like i literally just post like stupid pictures and stuff that i have and my third account um nobody actually really knows about it a few of my close friends and like know that i have it i don't actually post on that account and i only have like 10 followers on it which i don't even know why anybody follows it because i don't post but this account i created um a really long time ago um and it's I call it my fitness account just because I follow, I, I follow like 800 people on this account, but it's like, it's a lot, the accounts that I follow have a lot of like, you know, fitness inspo, so being like, you know, exercises to do in the gym, exercises to do at home, like the physical aspect of fitness, and then I also have the mental aspect where, you know, it just posts like little quotes and stuff, like reminding you that every day is a new day, and every day is a new chapter in your life, and honestly, this Instagram account, oh my gosh, I literally cannot tell you, I could be having the worst day ever, and I'll just scroll through it, and everything on that feed is positive it has something to do with how great life is and how much of a gift life is and how you really should not take life for granted and you know it just has like a bunch of like posts about um you know like traveling and it just has a lot of posts about business and it has like you know confidence post and just stuff like that like stuff that i feel like you know that you need to put it's really helpful honestly because it really just shows you a different outlook on life and a different perspective and i just highly recommend anybody who's wanting to start a new journey or a new lifestyle or a new i cannot see hang on guys pause i gotta do my island personally have this Instagram um, and I highly recommend anybody that like if you are depressed if you're anxious about anything if you're like I said wanting to start a healthy lifestyle um, or you know if you want if you're just like not happy with your life and you really just want like a new outlook on life I highly recommend starting an Instagram like that um, even if you don't tell anybody about it, I kept mine a secret for the past three years. I mean, you know, but I just truly believe that that's something that's really helped me over the course of my life. And especially starting high school and like being a teenager and stuff, like I feel like, you know, with school and friends and I feel like with like everyday life, it's easy to just forget about what your true passions are and what your true desires are. And I feel like you can just let life take over so easily and all the downfalls of life um but this instagram really just keeps me thinking about how truly grateful i am for everything that i have in my life and for my friends and my family and just for you know the fact that i do have these passions and desires to really make it out there and to really start my own business and like i said starting a youtube channel it's something i've always wanted to do um you know, getting better with fitness, getting better, um, getting healthier and stuff. I just feel like I really just owe a lot of it to that Instagram because without it, I feel like I wouldn't be as motivated and I wouldn't be as keen to do something as I would if I didn't have it. So, yeah, those are just a few of my um, New Year's resolutions and things that I want to work on this year. Um... As far as my fitness, okay, I've been working out for like the past three years, like I said earlier, and I love, 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 love with every ounce of my heart, fitness, lifting weights, oh my gosh, I love to lift weights, 
I, oh man, I go to the gym every day. Whew, I cannot tell you how many bad days I've had and I just go to the gym and I just put in headphones and I just lift the heck out of some weights. And I'm going to tell you this now. Lifting weights has changed my freaking life because I feel stronger, I feel more powerful, and I feel more confident when I lift weights. I feel like I can do anything in the world, to be honest, when I lift weights. And to me, going to the gym is just a time to forget about life and just forget about everything that's going on in the outside and everything negative that's happened that day. And I feel like it's just a good time to really reflect on yourself and reflect on your life and what improvements you can make. And I feel like once you start, you know, going to the gym, it honestly just gives you a way it's almost like a therapy session and I know a lot of people have said that before but I mean I truly truly understand that because to me going to the gym is like I don't know I just like I just recognize stuff at the gym like I'll just be working out I'll just have my headphones in listening to like some bomb music and I'll just be like wow I'm not happy with this and this and this I could improve on this and this and this you know what I am grateful for this and this and this and so for me lifting weights has really improved my life and not only has it improved my life mentally but also physically like I said earlier I was really big in the past like when I was in like eighth grade I think and I spent the summer with my dad a few um years ago and my dad is actually a bodybuilder and me and him worked out every day, went to work with him, did all that jazz. And I lost, <coughs> wow, I lost almost 70 pounds in, like, over a summer. Which, I know that's a lot, but, like, if you knew how big I was. Um, with that, I was able to accomplish a lot more in my life, and I was able to do a lot more of what I wanted to do in my life. As far as, like, you know, friends-wise, school-wise. Like before, I didn't really talk in school. I didn't really have a lot of friends. I was like really embarrassed constantly. I didn't like taking pictures. I didn't like being in pictures. Um, I literally just wanted to lay in my bed and watch YouTube videos or Netflix or something because I was so embarrassed of myself. And I remember I would just constantly cry and I just, I was so lost. I didn't know what to do. And yeah, I mean, when I say that fitness has truly changed my life I mean that with every ounce of my heart and that is why I really just want to make it um one of my new year's resolutions to improve on my fitness just because um I feel like I've kind of been stuck in a plateau over the past year I haven't really like lost or gained weight I haven't really like lost or gained muscle I've just kind of been staying pretty steady so I really want to make some adjustments there and I really want to you know step up my game so those are like most of my New Year's resolutions and yeah I'm honestly just super excited about 2019, 2018 has been pretty great, it's, it's definitely had it's ups and downs though I will say, um, some days have been great, some days have been kind of rough, but overall I mean it's, I've learned a lot this year so I'm just gonna put some highlighter on. I've learned a lot this year and I don't regret a single thing in my guys I forgot to do my eyebrows <laughs> um, I don't regret a single thing that has happened over the course of the year because I truly feel like that this um, this year has been one of the most transforming years that I've had in my life I'm definitely not the same person that I was when this year started I'm oh my gosh I just this year's been crazy for me. Like, I've gone through a lot. And, you know, with school and stuff and, you know, relationships and friendships and just everything. Everything's had its up and downs this year, my own family. Um, but I, like I said, I wouldn't change a thing because this year I've truly, truly learned some things about myself. And I truly, truly feel like this year has been a wonderful year as far as growing wise and as far as me learning new things about myself and learning that you know it's not the end of the world every time something bad happens because you know I can be a little emotional at times but okay um but I just want to say 
that I am so truly grateful for every single thing that has happened to me in my life and I'm so truly grateful for my friends and family and you know 2018 man learned a lot and I'm ready for 2019 so we're just gonna say thank you next and bring it on focus focus I love those ones. okay cool um so since this is a new year's eve get ready with me and I know I've been talking a lot in this video so yeah, I'm just gonna like line my lips. Mm. Boy, hit me up. Mm. Mm. Okay, sorry. Mm. So yeah, now I just line my lips and I'm gonna apply this color. Like, guys, it's like really dark, like really, really dark. So I don't, mm, I don't know. I kind of like this nude lip, but kind of want to try this. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I put on lipstick like a three-year-old. But it's really a party. Cute. all enjoyed if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also my, all my links to my social medias are in the description bar so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned a lot and stay tuned for my next video thank you have a happy new year